Um, at first I didn't believe it. The rumor started last year that they were going to close the apartments. Carissa Truman is one of many of the main Humboldt residents who will be forced to change her housing option next year as the apartments are scheduled to close. And I've lived, I lived here two years ago as well, so I kind of thought, oh, whatever, it's not really going to happen because um, I ended up being able to live here this year. It's close. I'm really sad because I love it here. I think these apartments are a lot better than Village. Um, I think they're bigger. There's like bigger kitchen areas. The bedrooms are a little bit bigger. Well, we have not used that building at capacity this year, so there's been sections closed there now. And the decision to close Main Humble completely for the fall of 2014 was done right before we started housing selection, so probably January, because we obviously had to let the students know that they couldn't select it. But it's part of a bigger college issue, which is declining enrollment. Yeah, I think the, the cost of housing is becoming awfully expensive and I think that's a you know that's another issue um, related to students not returning to housing and you know very honestly this isn't new and it's not new to Canisius it's not new to other colleges either but you know students shop around a lot more so do parents you know if you're looking at a ten thousand dollar bill for housing that's a lot of money I just I don't know why colleges think they can just keep charging and charging and charging. Eventually, we're going to run ourselves out of the market. You know, it's not worth 50000 to live here, you know, and people are going to start making those, and they are making those decisions. Carissa will be living in the village townhouses next year, which she sees as a downgrade from her current residence. Um, I like the apartments that's better over here because you have to cross the street to get to, like you do at the village, you're not waiting out in the cold, so I like okay. it better, but... Matt Mulville acknowledges that rising costs are a reason students don't want to participate in campus housing, but he also sees problems in how the college gets students to begin with. You know, and very honestly, too, you know, if you look at the demographics in the Northeast, which we get primarily get our students from, the decline in high school seniors is about 15% in the Northeast. So I think we're feeling some of that effect of a decline. You know, parents don't have four or five kids anymore. They have two and there's kids not graduating from high school, and then we can't recruit them. So, you know, that, that I think has impacted us, too. If we used every single thing we had, even yes. just not looking at its condition, because some of them, like yeah. I said, would need some work, yeah. you get close to almost 1,500 people. Mm -hmm. And we're projecting about 1,200 for the fall. Carissa commuted in her freshman year and saw the humble departments as a more independent living option than other upperclassmen housing options. Because I wanted to have my own apartment, like I wanted to have a kitchen to myself and I didn't want other people having access to my room and stuff. I'm a very private person. So that was what, one of the things that really appealed to me was the apartment. Um, I also liked that we were closer to the subway, um, which I thought was really interesting. It kind of made us feel like we were more independent and more off campus because you weren't living in a slew of other college buildings. You couldn't see the college from our window. Um, I liked it. It was like a nice little adventure. Um, Village still seems very college dorm-like. So I feel like this was a step away from that. That's why I loved it so much. In the future, it would definitely be um, available should enrollment increase. You know, we could certainly go back to, uh, you know, we could certainly open it back up. We've also done it, you know, again, it'll be based on demand, but we've done two-person apartments rather than four-person there. You know, if that was a demand, we could do that. Um, but right now, given the college enrollment and the projected enrollment for the fall of 2014, we don't need those 118 beds.